Hi, this is Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles and StudioCycles.com. And in this short YouTube video, I want to talk about the Kaiser M3 uh, biomechanics and um, what the bike does for you and doesn't do for you. Now, I'm staring at a 2012 Kaiser M3. You can tell by the nifty red shift lever there, it's a 2012. Um, it also has the flywheel protector, so you're not ripping the skin off your shins if you walk through uh, the room or a dark room and you run into the flywheel. Um, uh, but the M3 um, is very quiet and very smooth. Um, a lot of trainers who ride this bike uh, will recommend the Kaiser to their friends and clients. And the thing about the Kaiser M3 because I always tell people that what the bike does for you is what's most important. Um, the Kaiser M3 has the flat, skinny aluminum flywheel. It's the lightest flywheel on the market of any commercial, mainstream, indoor group cycle. It's flat and skinny. It produces no inertia. Granted, it's smooth and quiet, and I think conventional wisdom draws people to this bike. Plus, it is a very clean, striking bike. Um, and the folks at Kaiser are very nice and very helpful. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that most people who ride these bikes are not cyclists. They bring a lousy pedal stroke to the table. And when you ride a bike like a Kaiser or a Le Mans with no perimeter weighting and no aggressive inertia production, you tend to pedal up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The advantage the difference between an exercise bike and an indoor group cycle, a performance oriented indoor group cycle in my perception is that when you ride an indoor group cycle with aggressive inertia, perimeter weighting, it takes that up down pedal stroke which is short of, a, of running or jumping on a trampoline because an up down up down pedal stroke has a stopping and starting motion and the older we get, the more fluid we need our movements to be, especially if you're a runner or you've been involved with some sort of uh, activity with impact uh, in your life and you have uh, um, uh, resonating um, long-term effects. Bikes with perimeter weighting and aggressive inertia produce fluid 360 degree pedal strokes and undeniable circulatory benefits um, whereas an up down up down up down pedal stroke to me is hard on the knees hard on the hip flexors and if you have an existing condition um, riding aggressive inertia perimeter weighted flywheels I've seen lots of people um, ride aggressive inertia producing bikes which tend to be chain driven um, and they actually recover from the handicap effects of uh, impact and running, bungee jumping, mixed martial arts, kicks boxing, soccer, etc, etc, etc. So that's one thing um, about the Kaiser. The other thing is when you get on a Kaiser and you want to raise the handlebars you think they would go like this but they actually go like this. When you raise them you make the bike longer. So if you're petite and you raise the handlebars um, you're actually uh, increasing the distance between the saddle and the handlebars. Now there are going to be people saying, well what about the M3 Plus? What about the M3 Plus? I happen to have an M3 Plus right here. They call this the all new M3 Plus. And from what I can tell, uh, the M3 Plus is not an all new bike. It's about 75-80% M3 harvested but they put this handlebar on the bike and they put a night light on the computer. I think the color may, may be a little lighter, it might just be the light in here, I don't know, but uh, for all intents and purposes the all new M3 Plus is an M3 with a much different handlebar and one of the things that immediately struck me was if you're a petite female and you pull the handlebars closer to you, if you look at the proximity of the handlebar in relation to the pedal, I mean if your foot's on this pedal right here and you pull the handlebars back to you so that you can be more upright, um, you may be uh, bringing the handlebars back way too far where the top of the handlebars might even be right over the top of your quads. 
Um, now, I'm not suggesting that indoor group cycles need to have handlebars like bicycles, but I'm not sure where this handlebar came from or what it's relative to. Um, I know that I'm 5'11", about 195, and when I ride this bike and I try to get comfortable, um, if I'm not paying attention, I can stand up to climb and I can whack the backs of my knees on the ends of these handlebars. Um, so the difference between the M3 Plus and the M3 is a light on the computer that comes on at night and the handlebars. Um, I also um, have had videos in the past where I've said that this bike is, dam is easily damaged if it's transported and it's laid flat. And that's been my experience. I've also ordered these bikes and they've come to me crated brand new and when we've opened them up, um, there have been uh, severe damage inside the box, even though the box was perfect. There wasn't a scratch or ding on the box. And that's probably not relative to just Kaiser, because we do a lot of bikes and we see shipping damage on bikes from the factory to us. However, when we do our work and we ship our bikes out, um, we overpackage and double box everything. It's why we don't ship the Kaisers or the Le Mans, because this is a bike that's difficult to ship fully assembled. It takes a lot um, of work to ship a Kaiser or a Le Mans fully assembled. You actually have to crate it so there's no way the bike can be laid flat. If you ever buy a Kaiser fully assembled or a Le Mans fully assembled and you lay it flat in your vehicle and drive it home, it's probably going to be a meat grinder by the time it gets to your house. Okay, so the biomechanics of the bike are everything. Um, and for those folks on Amazon.com that say that the Studio Cycles review of the Kaiser is biased because you ordered your bike online and it got to your house and it wasn't damaged, I'm, I'm glad you were able to order a Kaiser and it was shipped to you and it wasn't damaged. I, I mean, I really, I, I, I think that's great. That just hasn't been my experience. Um, and I just call it like I see it. So. If you're looking for a bike for your home or for your club, this is the Studio Cycles corporate headquarters in Hawthorne, California. 15,000 square feet. Um, we have uh, five to 600 bikes in here normally in stock. We carry Schwinn, Star Trek, Kaiser, Le Mans. We had free motion, but we dumped them. We were all set to consult with them. We got their bikes. And we do an optimization process on our brand new bikes that no one else does. Um, where we actually take the bikes out of the box, uh, we put them together, we disassemble them, we crack them open and go through the entire bike. Uh, it's not unusual for us to replace a bearing or a chain or a chain wheel. Um, not all bikes need parts replaced when they're brand new. Some do, some don't. They just don't put stickers on the box that say this one's perfect, you don't have to check it. Anywhere else you buy your bike online, they process your credit card and send you a box. If you have a problem, you call them and they will probably tell you to call the manufacturer. If you, have a, if you, need, our, if you need help with the bike you get from us, you call us directly. If a warranty issue, you call us directly. We do lifetime warranties on the bikes we sell for consumers. And we do, we're the only pro level builders and tuners and optimizers of commercial indoor group bikes and have been for over 15 years. You can see we are not a fitness equipment warehouse. We're an indoor cycling company. We love what we do. I ride and tune every single bike that leaves my company. If you'd like to talk to me directly, here's some phone numbers. Home office, 888-909-BIKE. Cell phone, 818-470-2204. And my number here in Hawthorne is 310-973-BIKE. Call some other companies and see if you can get the owner on the phone. And if so, see what type of a conversation you'll have. I'm Jeff Wimmer from Studio Cycles and StudioCycles.com. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And best of luck to you on your road to health and fitness.